Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Recently, I had a friend of mine give me a pound and a half of deer sausage, and I'm going to be frying that up in cast iron, and I'm going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say thank you so very much. So let's get on into the video. A friend of mine gave me this pack of deer sausage. I got about a pound and a half, and I'm going to fry all of that up here in just a minute. And we're going to be frying it up in my number 10 Birmingham Stove and Range Century Skillet. Now this one here is a little bit older. It doesn't have the Made in USA like they do on the more newer after 1968, 69, right along in there. And it has the descriptive size marking right here. I don't know if you can see it. Plus we have the ridge and the teardrop hanger hole on the skillet. And uh, this one right here is a nice one. You can even see the factory swirls in there just a little bit back when they still milled their pieces. And we're gonna fry this deer sausage up. I'm gonna pull the camera down so you can kind of see what we're doing. And like always, we're gonna start it on low until our cast iron gets warm when we start feeling the heat coming up around the edges. I will say this, that deer meat is very, very lean. So there is a little bit of pork drippings added into this. Now it will probably be fine to cook like it is, but we don't really want sticking. So I'm gonna put just a tad of grapeseed oil in here just because it is so lean. Another thing too, I just wanna let everybody know you can use a metal spatula on cast iron. It's not gonna hurt it. As long as you don't dig the corners in, you're going to be fine. This nice little spatula right here has got rounded corners. Generally, you don't have a problem with it. I'm starting to get a little bit of smoke, so I'm going to go ahead and make up some patties. I'm going to make the patties a little bit thin because they will probably plump up a little bit. Now, if you see you don't have enough oil, which I believe I do, you can always add a little more. I may add just a, just a tad. Now, if you want to make gravy, you'll need to add some oil because there will not be enough with deer meat. And the one in the center is getting the, most of the heat. We're going to kind of pull these toward the center as well. I like to have a little bit of a crust. And we're going to just keep flipping. And I like to flip either on top of the other meat that I've got in there or along the edge, this really makes a difference from, to keep it from splashing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check because 160 degrees is what we want. Right now we're at 149, which is not enough. This little thing is really, really handy. We're going to take a quick look and see where we are. 
on the internal temperature, 199. And we are ready. Okay, so here we have it. We got a little bit of gravy we put right here on top of these guys. Okay, now this looks delicious. We'll have to try a little bit of this with a little bit of gravy. Mm -mm -mm. That is some good stuff right there. There's not a gamey taste in this whatsoever. Usually the sausage doesn't have so much of a gamey taste. I don't want to apologize for the autofocus. I had it on manual focus and didn't know it. <laughs> so, so if you got some blurry images, I apologize. It can't be undone now. So, Also, this little thermopan has been wonderful because I'm not really the best cook in the world. One thing I always worry about is getting it done enough to be safe. And with this right here, you don't have a problem. The deer meat had to be 160 plus degrees. We nailed that without any problems. It was able to verify it with the thermopin. Now I do get a little bit of a commission off of the sales through thermopin. So I'm going to leave a link in the video description below. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more coming. And I just want to say thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before we go, I'd like to share something with you really quickly. In Psalms chapter 42, verse 1, it says, As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O Lord. I just want to say, share the word and be a blessing.